This video's a little all over the place. This video is sponsored by Simply Safe. Hot damn, here we go again. Morning. We're just having fun. If you take stuff too serious, this channel may not be for you, buddy. Man, oh man, here we go again. Another episode with the old dad's in, baby. She's looking good. Uh-huh. Around here, we like them white wheels. Patina with white stillies. Patina with white stillies. Patina with white stillies. Lifted Toyota dually with black stillies. Gotta switch it up a bit, baby. Hey, now rain or shine, the show must go on. Now our little Toyota here, she's got a tank tank and that's keeping the water out of there, so she's good. And this little Yoder, she was last week's video. We gave her a little budget makeover. She's kind of fun. <coughs> Them new balances make me fast. Uh, man, I hate rain. Give me the willy chilies. <laughs> we ain't here for that Toyota. That was last week. A uh, little change up in pace. This week, we're back on the Datsun. First truck I've ever put air right on. And we kind of like our little goofy mini trucks around here. I did not mean to discriminate, okay? I shouldn't have said goofy. I should have said utility. We like our mini trucks with a purpose. We like them to have boxes or flatbeds where we can put these babies to work. This one's getting that one put on the booty of her. Of course, we got the OG, we got the flatbed. And we are hopping back on this one. Now, we're kinda in a weird spot on this one, guys. We're in a weird spot because we got a lot of little stuff to do, but nothing that's inclusive to make a wholesome, complete video. Whatever the hell that means. What it means is it's going to be all over the place because there's a lot of little crap to get done. Figuring out this situation. We never hooked up that situation. Underneath here, what in tarnation? It needs to come out because it requires some spray paintification. Need to shave the firewall, get rid of some rust, and this fender has deflation. After all that, we're gonna load her on the trailer and take her on a vacation. And not to the beach, but she's going to play with sand. That's right, she's going to the sand blaster. I ain't doing the whole truck, guys. We just gotta get this frame, the rest of the inner fenders and stuff, the bottom of the cab. Normally, we'd use this for that, but we have an issue, guys. I've gotta have a better video than just running a grinder for five days out of the week. So we're just gonna pull this motor, fire from the hip, and see what we can't get done here. Get her ready to go mobile. Drop it like it's hot. Oh, bless me. Thank you. Drop her to the ground. I don't have a cherry picker, so we gotta scoop her to the crane. Oh. Do the shop shuffle. So I'm working towards a bigger shop here. We're gonna see how we do with the crane here. These Datsun motors, the valve cover likes to smack that lip so she can be a little tricky. We'll get them ready to pull. See that kind of trouble we can get into here. 
Oh yeah, there we go. I think we'll try to pull this whole thing. Come to sweet papa. There we go. Oh, she's pristine shape. Hit her with the little spit shine and send it. Just completely get this one out of her way. Then she's eliminated. Oh, this side just has to slip off here now. That's how you pick up the whole truck. We probably need the uh, transmission to drop. <laughs> she will pick up the whole truck, by the way. That crane ain't no punk, is it, Bill? No. We've moved some shit with it, haven't we? <laughs> <laughs> Take her higher, Bill. All right. Bring her down. There we go. There we go. Get that transmission. Damn, I got fancy and tightened those. I don't even remember that. Oh, arm needs to be just a little longer. There she is. Drop her down. Oh yeah, she's dangling now. See, we can work her out now. Oh yeah, she's loose. As long as she's pointing at a 50 degree angle, 55, you're good. Excuse me, you can get away with about 47, 48 degrees. The old eagle eye's a little off. Losing fluid better get to it. <laughs> Crane's about maxed. Gotta be careful, we don't wanna dent our good fender there. Bill's gonna work the jack, I'm gonna work the five speed. There we go. Perfect. These are down. I ain't gonna have a back lift on me. <laughs> She's as easy as one, two, three. <laughs> she may have landed just slightly crooked. And I mean slightly. Go around two. You good over there? Yeah, I'm good. So picking up trucks with cranes and crawling underneath it, that may not make you feel very safe. Saying old fabricating where you cut stuff like this and weld it like that may not make you feel very safe. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> <laughs> Having the truck fall onto wheel dollies may not make it feel very safe. We weren't even trying to cause that. You know what will make you feel safe? When you install a home security system by Simply Safe. I've been known to clown around possibly not take stuff as serious as I should. So on a serious note, you know what made me want Simply Safe? I'll show you. <laughs> you okay there, Bambi Legs? That's Mortsky, okay? That's my good friend Mortsky Repair. He has Simply Safe. And if it was not for Simply Safe, we wouldn't have got that beautiful, beautiful clip of him busting that on that ice. <laughs> Legend has it, his old legs are still sliding around till this day. But seriously, me and my wife, we have wanted a security system for a while. We live right next to a highway. Uh, a lot of our life is on the internet and you just never know, do you? Living here, I've had a door opened on the Yeehaw, the tow roller, and I've almost, almost caught someone trying to get in my shop. You gotta love it. Welcome to the world we live in. You work hard for something and someone else will come simply take it. Now, me and Mortsky, we are friends, okay? So I asked him, hey, what do you really think about this? You know, do you think it'll be good? And he really highly recommended it. He said he uses his all the time. He really likes it. So I said, hell, let's go for it. Now here's what I can tell you about it so far. 
It's extremely easy to use. The whole damn thing's basically wireless. You plug in that old base station and she just gets to glowing. And we did plug in one camera. And other than that, all these sensors are wireless. Now sensors, guys, I'm talking about entry sensors. I'm talking about glass breaking detection sensors. That's right, break my glass. Simply Safe's gonna notify me and then you're gonna get a shiny new New Balance straight up your ass. Broken glass, New Balance And we've got other sensors. Smoke detectors, carbon monoxide detectors, temperature detectors, panic buttons, front doorbells with camera, damn safety locks, motion detectors, indoor cameras, and outdoor cameras, just to name a few guys. If it has to do with home security, they've got it. Simple to install. If it was not wireless, I wouldn't have used it, guys. It made it so easy. Now I've got a keypad right by my door. Just ran in here to show you all this and it done told me someone was in my backyard. Now let's say we're home and we're going to sleep. What do we do when we go to leave, Hot Rod? Please exit now. She's counting down. You won't like her when she's angry. We'll just turn her off. How's that? Say I want to take mama for a burger and grape snow cone, okay? We've got the girls here. We've got a panic button. We've got this whole security system where it's going to alert the authorities, okay? So if, if the alarm triggers, they don't say the safe word, well, guess what? The local PD's on their way. Smoke detector goes off. No one says the safe word or enters a pen. Guess what? Local firefighters gonna come put that baby out. Did I mention this is 24 hours, seven days a week, protection of your home, backed by 24 seven professional monitoring, okay? Did I mention it's less than a dollar a day and that it's in over a million homes? And boy, howdy, I got good news. You can save 20% off by heading on over to the Simply Safe to get you a security system by simply signing up for a monthly interactive monitoring plan. That's gonna save you 20% and you're gonna get a month for free. All you gotta do is go to simplysafe.com forward slash puddin's fab shop to learn more. That system gives you a small peace of mind as we live in a crazy time. I'm gonna make us a to-do list here to kind of keep me focused. And we'll be back on her in the morning, y'all. Though I try sometimes, my lists aren't always the best. Uh, I'm more of the fire from the hip type guy. So I just figure we need to get this thing stripped down, including suspension, including some of the stuff on the front. So hell, let's start stripping. Watch my hiney. Watch oh, my body coming through. Uh. <laughs> We're gonna strip the back, which should be pretty simple. Start with those zip ties. And we're gonna end up putting this chassis on my rollers. These rollers are high end. Let's go see what I got here. Here they are right here. We need them. Oh, kick these new balances into four wheel drive for all this mud. I built these when we did all the rust repair on the old shoe box. I used them on my travel off. And now we're gonna use them on our old Dapson. The feet of those sit in those. You can see where I've welded them before. You know, cause drilling one hole for a bolt's overrated. Back here, we got that nice little bracket right there. And she's almost asking to be bolted to one of them. So that's what we're gonna do. She may be a little narrow, so we're gonna have to go with our wider one. Yes, sir, something like that right there will work just fine. We're going to start with airing this thing up. Uh-huh. <laughs> I don't know why I grabbed that for this. You figure out how to air that up with that and you're doing good. She's basically a forklift if you didn't know. She's got all the damn lift. Jack that baby up. Make sure she can slide underneath there. You gotta get her pretty close by eagle eye there. We might break out the old tape measure. Eight and a sixteenth, seven and eleven sixteenths. We need to recalibrate that eagle eye. <laughs> Put 
There we go, about seven and seven eighths each side. Little mark there. Take her to a half incher. Drill her holes to half inch there. Gotta wipe them clean, we ain't messy around here. There we go. That little angle will get you. Uh-huh. Think this side needs the Pot County Waller. Open her up side to side a little bit. There we go. Just as good as if we would have ac accurately measured that. I'll waller for a dollar. There we go. Now luckily I left all these bolts quick release edition. No nuts. Gonna have to break out the Pock County speed wrench for the lower end. There we go. Your shop ain't that bad. Y'all don't realize how many times I gotta stand here, sometimes for 10 minutes, letting loud cars go by where I can talk. So I'm always yelling, damn it. Doing her that away saves us from losing them studs later on. No shock there, they came off real easy. No shock, cause the shock's gone, no. Uh, they came off easy because we designed everything to be able to come apart where it's not a headache, guys. So we'll ratchet and wrench on here. Damn, how long are these threads? About to start singing somewhere over the damn rainbow. Oh, there's one. There's two. Pop this. Oh. Get her lowers. We gotta have somewhere to gather all these parts. A centralized location. Something that could be a workbench in any situation. Something that ain't scared to handle a load with no hesitation. just the girl for the job. You can back into anywhere with her with them big old mirrors. I can see damn South Antarctica in them things backing up. She's a ride fit for any Pot County legend. Boy, at least that old Datsun's got some taste. Hey, there we go. Now we need this. Uh-huh. Told y'all she ain't no pun. I'm real smart though, guys. Bet y'all didn't know about this, did you? Looky right there. That passes through the brick and is welded out here. That way, if the crane goes, we take this whole wall with it. Now that's logic if I've ever heard it. These unbolt. fancy crane back here so we're gonna have to use the Amish lift kit. Hey oh there we go. Hey Bill, she gonna hold? Huh? Will she hold? 
hold. It'll hold. She's bill approved. We're good. Now, if she's a loose fit like this one here, you want to get your best paperweight on it. Perfect. I finally figured out why she's been a pain to move around. <laughs> yeah. Boy, I bet she'll spin now, though. Oh, yeah, she'll do the dosing, though. Ain't no thing to swing that frame. Get that situated in the motor department. Y'all probably thought that gusset was just for looks, huh? Oh no, she's much more. That'll make her a little uneven. Bet this side will come off easier. You gotta be quicker than that. And that's how we utilize the back saver. So most of this is all just mocked up. So she should come apart pretty easy. Like this ball joint here, who's nice and finger tight. Good palm strike goes a long ways. Crazy tie rod set up. <laughs> Old crusty shock. That thing's in tip top shape. <laughs> Lastly, but not leastly, pull that A arm. We've got her stripped. Yep. Yeah. She's all there. Y'all missed that one. I just about passed out. I almost went down. Boy, I ain't joking either. I damn near ate it on that flatbed. I about did them Bambi legs like old Mortsky. Besides stripping all this, guys, I want to get the fenders off of it. Well, actually, this whole front ends. Whoop, she gone. Uh, we're gonna, we're gonna blast behind all this too. You know what my hands were just doing? I've got a grill in really good shape. We're looking for pudding. Yeah, look what he brought me guys. New old stock Datsun grill right there. <laughs> when me and Sir Mordecai's road trip that Yeehaw to that swap meet, that gentleman gave me one. She's up there patiently waiting. Of course, these are getting replaced. That's been on a little bit, so I think even our lower valence is kind of whooped on. Trying to read what that says. I think it says may require speed holes. Dang. That damn near required that half inch impact to get that bolt out. This is the OG fender, so she's never been off. This fender I replaced at one point. That was like 12 years ago, so I don't remember what all is required here. We're just gonna fire from the hip with a half inch drive impact till we get her dead. She's gonna come off or I'm gonna get a cutting torch after it. That's her options. Oh, she broke, no surprise there. We're gonna play that game, huh? Ain't nobody got time for games. I ain't damn Bob Barker. The price is wrong, bitch. We're in the damn metal supply business now. Hey, we traded. I, got, I gave you exhaust too and you give me. <laughs> <laughs> a little swap -a -rooey. Slick had this exhaust piece for our nice quality stack right there. Now we got some good 11 gauge for him. Another satisfied customer here at the PFS Metal Supply Inn Moore LLC located in Red Dirt, Oklahoma. Yep, 
got her wedged where she's about ready to crack. That's perfect. It's a good thing about being the Datsun King. You ain't actually got to know anything about Datsuns. Hell, we just needed someone to wear that crown, baby. <laughs> These may be our bumper brackets, I think. See if we can snap them. Bingo. Boom. <laughs> that damn bumper weighs two pounds, guys. That right there is my favorite piece of the whole truck. That came on the truck. It'll stay with the truck. No, it ain't for sale. Quit asking. See if we can find any markings on it. I don't see no markings on it. She may be one of a kind, the rarest of the rare. And if that's the deal, she could be, she could be for sale. I mean, hell, that looks like a $100,000 license plate to me. Hey, looky there. That bumper comes off and it just exposes everything, makes it nice and easy. I knew that. Of course I knew that. How would the Datsun King not know that? This stuff's all been rattle canned before, so I've definitely been in here. I know one of my rattle can jobs when I see it. Definitely broke that. Definitely broke that. And we broke that. Zero out of three ain't bad. The looby dooby may not hurt. I ran her back in, that way we run the looby dooby in. Now that's the secret. Works every time. Get these out of our way. They were kind of just annoying me. Uh, I know we got a bolt up in here. Rusty, but trusty. There we go. Everybody knows when you take that off, there's another bolt for the fender underneath there. That's a Datsun thing you wouldn't understand. I've seen hinges in better shape. There we go. There's our future, uh, Datsun key chain medallion material right there. We're gonna knock her into circles. Uh, maybe dimple dye it, little half inch dimple dye. They're gonna be for sale on the website. Boy, what all we got in there, huh? Some goodies. Of course, you gotta have a wasp nest up in there. And now y'all see why I waited to take this off to finish this out here, because it's gonna be so much easier. Hey, none of this is all rusted out or nothing. I mean, who cares if that hinge does the teeter-totter or not? Hey, she's stripped good, guys. Let's pull that other fender. This fender I told you guys I replaced. Well, she only has two 10 mils on her. So we swapped that out for uh, the old 516 drive. You damn right. I meant three bolts. There we go. That last self tapper will get you. There you go, right there. If eight self tappers don't hold it, then bolts never woulda. That may be a redneck, but honestly guys, there's plenty of good surface there. I don't think we hurt anything by doing that. This hinge a little slicker anyhow. Broke that one. Broke that one. What y'all reckon we're gonna do here? 
If you guess break it, you win a sticker. Just joking, we would have lost 150,000 stickers. Do you have broken bolts? Does your nut have a broke off shank in it? Did that pesky rust get you again? Well, boy, howdy, do I have a solution for you. It's as simple as one, two, three. Step one, cut that baby flush. Step two, mark center. Step three, drill you a pilot hole. Step four, take her to desired size. For us, we're gonna aim for about three sixteenths. Step five, insert your tap that don't want no talk back. Step six, add a little looby dooby. And step seven, don't be scared. Mama didn't raise no punk. In, out, in, out. Step eight, repeat on every broken one. It's as easy as one, two, three. On a serious note, I don't have metric bolts hardly taps or anything, but I've got plenty of quarter 20 stuff, so I'm gonna swap all these to quarter 20 because I ain't scared. One broken tap later, I managed to get all of them, except one, and I got the one where I broke the tap, don't worry about that. Yeah, I got her. We got them all except this one down here, but down here, she's a little rusted, so we may have to fix that. We're gonna keep soaking her. Now when our new fenders go back on, all the factory holes should work. Just get that quarter 20. We're gonna keep our momentum going here on the front, and we're gonna look at finishing up some of the sheet metal. I'm gonna go down and tack her through here. And then we're just gonna do a little trim job. Now I'm not trying to grind away all the weld guys, just kind of knock her down a little bit. Now up here, she's gonna get a little tricky. We can follow her along her weld there. And then right here, we're gonna do some type of dip. I put my hand up on my hip. That'll look good. You like that old floppy wrist technique? <laughs> sure makes that corner smooth. D-U-N, put a stamp on her and call her done. I like it, guys. I planned on grinding that lip off, but most of it I just kind of hammer and fold it over. That gives her an edge for some extra strength. And the rest of it just kind of flows and looks good. Boy, she's good enough for some black paint and a fender to cover it up anyhow. Ain't damn right she's looking good. I got a whole nother side to do, so I'm gonna get going on it. It's a repeat process of this side, and we'll be back on her in the morning in the old, uh, in the old AM. Y'all know it's not fun? Sheet metal work. Know what I've been doing this morning? Sheet metal work. Let me show you what we got going on. Little pro tip here, before you shave your firewall or do any of the metal work, make sure to lift it about six foot in the air. That way you gotta crawl in and out of it. All right. Drop down the old chute like Santa Claus. Inside here, we had about 1,200 holes. Some down here, all over there. Same over here, we had little holes everywhere. Not really worried about these ones up here. They're fine. We ain't going all out on this thing, but we are getting rid of most of the unnecessary baloney. 
We'll start right here, and maybe you can see there's still paint in there on that little uh, threaded nut portion, whatever. Get your old carbide, and take that paint for a ride on the tip of that old girl. Boy, we're seeing some fresh metal now. The rest of that paint, I bet she'll burn off. Oh, when you drop a glove and you can't quite wiggle down. There we go. I got her. Come on. Oh. Hey, right here, we got a couple holes. End up with a damn Pot County brush fire in there. Oh yeah, we got that good stuff. This may come as a shocker, but I think we're gonna delete our squirt kit. There we go. Get her out. Got a clamp right here. Another clamp. And another. We're gonna replace this because she looks like hell. We gotta replace our speedometer cable because someone cut it thinking it was that. That's the parking brake cable. The truck sitting on the ground is our new parking brake, so it's no longer needed. So she's gonna get deleted too. Two holes here. Of course, we got this goofy clamp here. Pop that off. I didn't want to climb out for the grinder. Then we can grind that down. We're not getting super picky guys. I'm not super finishing this metal out, trying to make her perfect. Uh, decent enough for some primer and I'm gonna be happy. I'm not saying she's gonna get a little patina underneath the hood, but I wouldn't be surprised if she's a couple different colors and rusty anyhow. This has already snowballed to a lot more work and looking a lot better than I originally pl planned. At the end of the day, she's just a Datsun, so we ain't gonna get too fancy here. I did realize I forgot to wield this lip in here. Here's that master cylinder that everyone said would be extremely difficult to change. Even if a tire was on here, there's plenty of room to wiggle your hand right up in there and uh, oh, that was hard. I'd hate to have to do that again. <laughs> I don't know how many more of them I got left in me. <laughs> little weld up action there. Before I got distracted, I was headed towards that parking brake. If we have us a look-see in here, she's kind of tucked up there. Wouldn't hurt to clean out this storage locker. I was planning on doing that anyhow. Sure, right now sounds like a great time. Gotta lubricate them hinges. Got us some air compressors here. Uh-huh. All kinds of goodies, basically. Just like these shoes catch all the attention, this Datsun kind of become the catch-all for all of its parts. Have to do a little sorting. Don't show that to Mordski, it'll go bad. Wiring harnesses are overrated. Not these, we gotta protect these with our lives. You can't find them for nothing. Well, Wilson's been hiding from the girls for a while. <laughs> Wilson ain't leaving without a fight. Y'all may have noticed this is all quick release. Yeah, we rock custom. Three more to go. I don't remember what these are out of. They came out of a parts truck I bought and I put them in here. Uh, someone said maybe International Scout is what I seem to remember, something like that. Someone's gonna recognize it and know what these come out of. I don't know what they came out of, but they were meant to be for this truck. They sit right in place and bolt right in. Little custom washer there, I see. 
Yeah, we got that custom wiring too. She's a doozy. Hey, a little duct tape never hurt nobody. And a damn burrito damn sure never hurt, especially when it's from the taco boy. Oh, it's that good. It's that good. That's a big thanks to Scooter who called me in a gift card there. This burrito was on him. Appreciate it. No shame in my burrito game. We well, don't know what in the seat sensors we had going on here. Most folks don't know it, but Datsun was ahead of their time. They actually had ass heaters in 1977. Came from the factory blue, and I may have rattle canned them black at one point. Now, on a more positive note, I found the rest of our red wires, because some of them were missing. <laughs> This one was the 12 volt supply, just has the old fuse box right there. <laughs> I used to like the color red. Sure would be nice to have a shop vac to clean this up with. We may have a Milwaukee mobile unit. I would have had to stop three times to suck all that up with that Dewalt one. Rust, rust. This whole area is pretty pitted. Rust, rust. Exactly what I was hoping to see. You little bad SOB. No bigger than my lunch pail. That damn parking brake cable, spring. Retaining safety clip will get you every time. Boy, look at that setup. Good thing I got my climbing shoes on. Oh! Man, that portable grinder just gave some 18 gauge hail right there. She's a perfect circle, as you can see. Take her old magnet there and hold her in place, maybe. Don't worry about that gap there. Most folks don't know it, but my middle name's actually Jump a Gap. So that little canyon don't scare me. <laughs> Nothing special here, just a quick flap attack. Uh, speaking of flap attack. Yeah. Ow, shit. That thing ain't moved out of the way from my knee yet. A little throttle cable. She looks like she got hot before. That may be because this turned into my ground before and she was glowing a color. <laughs> yeah, throttle cables don't make good engine grounds, come to find out. We ain't using ram board. We ain't using cardboard. We're using damn uh, eagle eye for these templates. Shit. She's about the worst looking spot on here. And trust me, that's fine by me. We're not gonna body work underneath here, guys. She's gonna get the spray and pray. Nothing a little high build primer won't hide. She looked good enough for Pot County. Little before after now she ain't the prettiest i hate to say good enough but for this project it's good enough it ain't like that datsun's the someday model a here i think that concludes our metal work here uh maybe except for that lip she's been whipped on i think i got that with the engine i'm just gonna kind of whoop her back It ain't perfect, but that's better than being full whoopy, dude. Boy, I reckon we can clean up this damn mess. We got stuff everywhere. Make sure to sweep before you blow all the dust off of it. That way you gotta sweep twice. Most folks don't realize it, but that actually ensures you get your shop twice as clean.
little sandblasting's gonna have this baby looking fresh. Let's see if we can blast this back on. Very difficult here. I think we'd ever get that damn thing started. With her tightened down, let's head to the inside. Look what fell out from underneath the dash. That's some damned old welding rod. What we got there, some 6010, damned old 7018. Boy, I used to fire up that old Cracker Jack box and I'd just get, I'd get that old pedal started and I'd whip that weld and I'd just, that's how we used to do it back in my day. Frames I was hacking, dimes I was stacking. So damn near got enough wiggle in her to work. You don't want to drill a new hole because then you don't get as much stroke out the pedal. Basically, it needs to drop down two inches. Man, I can't believe we managed to get that off of there again. I thought she was going to be stuck for sure this time. Start digging through here until I found this. They pretty well match, which means this should be easy to make them work together. Drilled that slightly too big. There we go. I'm gonna snug that up to there. We're gonna tack that baby. Pull her bolt there. Make sure she's happy. Now she has double the threads. Think we need to drop down about right there. Hey, she's looking good. Let's test fit her first. Yeah! Super easy to get underneath that dash. Guys, a uh, eagle lighter. I think we can brace her up. I think it's gonna work like this. She ain't the prettiest, but that's about as simple as I could think to do it right there. Easy peasy, let's see if she works. Getting her started may be a little tricky. Adjusted her out just a little bit. Got her pin popped in. In the world of customization, you gotta be ready for any situation. Went to give it a test stroke here and realized something. She's slightly hitting. As owner, operator, CEO, supervisor, and team lead here at the Puddins Fabrication Shop, I elect to give myself a break from that. Let's look at our old brake booster setup. The damn housing's about rusted through right there. I could not find these online for sale. Now Rock Auto, she had a service offer where you send it in, they rebuild it, they send it back. Like I said, she's a little crusty. I just figure we'll try replacing her with something. She's got the four bolt flange on the back. There we go. Oh yeah, baby. Right here's what we got to go on there. And allegedly this is gonna bolt into place. Yeah, not quite, not quite. Just get you one from a Geo Metro, it bolts right on. <laughs> yeah. How about I bolt my new balance up your ass? Well, that next roadblock, guys, we ain't giving up, but we are done for the day. It don't look like it, okay, but we're getting tons of little things done. We'll be back on her in the morning. We're gonna knock off that old adapter kit. She's a three bolt flange. Boom, baby, get her from the backside. Oh yeah, she'll come right off. We gotta adapt this adapter to the Geo Metro Special. The top ones are dead nuts. The bottom ones, not so much. Hit her with a slight trim job here. Which way's up? Who knows? Honestly, with the washer and the nut, guys, you could, you could clamp that right there, no problem. But we gotta do something about her now. This is why I don't do projects, guys. We could have left that alone, and here's the way to make it take longer. But... It'll be right. Gonna take us a little piece of ram board. 
Put that on there. We're just going to drop that back on. Go and use that eagle eye on a marker. Just kind of trace out what perk near looks good. Something like that will do just dandy. I may have lost my scissors. I found them. I'm going to cut them out of this scrap angle iron right here. She's about the same thickness. Got them rough cut. Get our piece on the welding jig. I beveled them edges, guys, where we got a place for that old weld to go. Just going to set that right there. I'm going to set this right here. Perfect. Tack them up, baby. She's on the run. Man, that baby's just sitting there glowing. Now trust me guys, this thing ain't perfect, okay? Uh, but a little black paint, that grinder, it'll make you the welder you ain't. She'll look good. That's the bottom side you gotta remember, so she's gonna be kinda hard to see. Our little push rod's slightly different, so if we go from that flange to the center of that hole, she's about seven and three eighths. Came up short here, story of my life. Uh, we gotta extend this. I found a nut that's the same thread. We're just gonna thread her on right here, down flush. To the tip of that is about three and three quarter. We need seven and three eighths. So from our center point, three and five eighths, perk near right there. We got wiggle room right here, so she ain't gotta be perfect. Slice it. Now with any luck, if we hold that right there, sticking out right, oh baby. She's about seven and five sixteenths. Nailed it. We're gonna sit that there and weld it. I did not mean to get her that hot. <laughs> I'm riding the struggle bus on the TIG welder this morning. You damn right, baby. Now we run that jam nut down. Now remember guys, this is a Ford force we ain't putting no side to side on this really i know that ain't a whole lot of threads but this is pushing straight on there that nut really don't have much more threads than this nut does she's got the pot county extendo kit she's perfect guys she is perfect this is our master cylinder from that 83 datsun 720 she should be for a disc drum setup if we took it off a truck back there well looky here She's trying to slide on there, but these studs are a little bent because this old Geo Metro booster, she's of the highest of quality. So I think if we straighten them up, I think this is gonna slide right on. Just thread us a nut on there. Clamp the nut, bend her straight. Let's see here, freaking magic. So next, we gotta get that rod in there to butt up to that in there, where when you push that baby, she pushes that. So if I drop that down in there, marking it back here, then if I move that right there and mark it, the difference between them is what it's sticking up in there past that flange, three eighths of an inch, so we stick that down in there and look down on it. About three quarters of an inch to flush, so you add three eighths. A rod needs to be about an inch and an eighth long. Or longer. Come on, get them needle nose locking pliers down in there and maybe we'll get her unthreaded. Holy cow, she's got all the threads. We're gonna measure the overall length of that. She's an inch long. I said an inch and an eighth longer so when we get done here, this whole piece should be two and an eighth from one end to the other. Right here, some scrap quarter inch round rods or a friend. Yeah. 
She may be extended a little long. That's why I did it the way I did it, where we can measure from here to an eighth, slice it, round that in. Should be good to go. She's snug. What did I say she should stick out? Three eighths? Dead money. If we hold that there and try to push on that. Oh yeah, we're pushing both, I guarantee it. And that right there, folks, is how you adapt your 620 adapter to your Geo Metro booster to your 720 master to go to your Nissan hard booty calipers and rear drum wheel seal. You know what I mean. She's got a Frankenstein brake system, but don't worry, folks. She's gonna stop on a dime and she looks fine. We ain't used a bungee cord in a while. She matched right up, no adjustments required. Come out here, she obviously looks good. Besides looking good, we got a little bit more clearance there. And we also get a good master cylinder and brake booster. Best part of all, if we gotta replace either one of those, we can actually get parts now. I'm calling that a huge win right there on that. Now back to our little clutch pedal that wants to play games. Pull the one pin, take one bolt off one spring, and she's yours. I did kind of mark where I think we need to bend it. I'm going to half trace this, guys. She ain't going to be perfect, okay? Just a real rough guideline. I want the pedal to end up in the same spot, so we're going to bend on her and try to land it pretty close. We've got everything swinging towards the right. Two more. Got her hovering back over our spot. Now we just need to twist on it. Getting hot swinging the old motivator. Now we've got a torch, we've got a press brake, but we also got a vice and motivation. Smacked her that away a couple times. We kind of have a look here. She's kind of hovering our target area pretty good right there. She looks good up here. Of course, she's all tightened up down there. Come inside, her pedal's in a pretty good position. She's all hooked up. No more smacking. Of course, the pedal's all hooked up. Every time we do that, we're making a mess out here. Of course, we get to pull it all off again. Boom, boom. Yeah, last video, y'all commented, use the shop rag trick. Never heard of it. Didn't even Google it. I just used this stuff called common sense and went, hell, that's a good idea. The bottom strip, front stripped, all that metal work done, all of our, uh, Pedal assembly's good to go. I don't know why I'm shaking. Uh, it's ready to go, guys. All right, we got to get her on a trailer. Let's see what we can figure out here. The more we raise this end, the more that end goes down. Hey, that ain't bad. We're going to knock down a hot damn pickle. Then we're going to make her do the boot scoop boogie. She rolls so easy, guys. I'm telling you guys right now, if you're a one-man show like me a lot of times, a damn stick an inch and a half square tubing, four of them rollers, make your life nice and easy. Now, speaking of nice and easy, we got to get this thing picked up there. tried this before but you know what they say it'll work or it won't i think i can balance it i don't know if we're going to create enough lift before we go forward <laughs> she's coming at you watch out don't be scared now 
She's balanced. She's close. Our wheels are barely hitting. Hey, she's rolling. New fence took a hit like a champ. There we go, baby. She's on. I don't think she liked that, but she's on. I think the battery on the winch is dead. I ain't charged her in about three years. Like a freaking champ. You did good there, Travel All Spare. Now she's an old Z71, okay, from 88 to 98, so we know she's here to do some work anyhow guys i've never done that before but i have seen my dad move so much stuff with damn stumps and cinder blocks an old fence post or a damn limb and use leverage guys and anytime i get in a tricky situation my brain goes where can we get a little leverage from and we got it we didn't strain ourselves we didn't hurt nothing whoo she good Yes, sir. Got this baby sat here yesterday and I had to give the, the shop an old clean-a-thon. Old shop was plum filthy. She had become a disaster. She was downright pitiful. So here's what I did. Just open up this door. Boom! There's our storage compartment for now for all of our dancing pieces. She's just perfect for keeping this old mess tidy. Now, I may be biased, but I think she looks good sitting there and doing it. I actually cleaned off some toolboxes and everything. We're pretty clean up there. Hell, I even pulled out this equipment and I swept. I got fancy. Of course, we gotta show off that old bead roller. She's got the best looking stickers in Pot County, baby. Had to have the shop looking good for the family. In fact, uh, I believe my dad got the camera to turn on. He looked quite proud of himself. <laughs> You got like three feet of air that time. This is base. This is base. You go, Dad. You did a good job. Everyone loves them some pudding pops. Now, I figured that would be a good storage for that as we send the truck off for a week. And we can still get some work done in here. Now, speaking of the actual truck. It looks weird out here when all my damn vehicles aren't sitting here. But don't worry, you walk in the backyard and it does not disappoint. <laughs> Boy, back here we got black steelies and mud grip deluxes. Back here we got yeehaws that age well like your peepaw. Back here we've got flat beds and roof racks where we can haul in any situation. We've got wheel hop Wilma whose back tires have some deflation. And then we've got old Edna and she's trailer on. And on the trailer, well, she don't disappoint. We got that old Datsun strapped down. She will certainly look better when we get it back, guys. I never thought I'd see a day where this truck in a sandblaster got to play. Cold and refreshing. We earned it. I'm hardcore. That's a fresca sparkling soda water. Everyone keeps asking if that's a bush light. No, sir. Speaking of cold and refreshing, if you'd like your Puddin's Fab Shop koozies, T-shirts like this one. Well, I don't even know if it's on the back of it. Probably 100K. Guys, all the all the T-shirts we currently have in stock are on the website, www.puddinsfabshop.com. You know, we got a, a big old sticker selection and other little goodies like keychains and air fresheners. So get them while they're hot. They're always hot, so you better be getting them. I'd argue the best looking merchandise on YouTube. And I'm not biased in any way. <laughs> when your merch is good, it's good. Uh, guys, we appreciate that. That directly supports me and my family. If y'all place an order, me and my family is the one who's packing it and shipping it. Uh, so we appreciate all that support. I'm actually going to knock out some orders later. Man, hot rod though. Okay, you see dad's got the legs out. We're about to hit the bikes around the town. So I'm on the Instagrammer. We're on the Patreon. Uh, hey, another big thanks to the Simply Safe. 
for sponsoring this. I've had that stuff in the house now for six days. Me and the family still digging it. Uh, speaking of digging, supporting the channel with like this ad for Simply Safe, we may be getting a little dirt work done, okay? That's all I'm gonna say. Now you may notice there ain't been no dirt work done around here. So I don't know if I can drop any more hints. Uh, but thank you to them for sponsoring the video. Thank you to you guys for the merchandise support. Just, just being here and watching, guys. Everything is just helping me and my family grow. So from us to you, uh, thank you guys. And I'll see you guys next time. But don't forget, sitting on your ass won't finish your project. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs>